Hi, my name is Phil Longwell and this is a quick introduction to a screen capture tool which is a simple plugin or extension using Google Chrome. So let's get straight into it. Loom is a screen capture tool which is free and easy to use and could be particularly good for students who want to present their work. First thing you need to do is to sign up using Gmail uh, and this is the best option as the tool is designed to integrate with Gmail and with Chrome. Once you have registered and installed the browser plugin, just go to the place that you want to record a voiceover for and click on the Loom button, which is in the top right hand corner of Google Chrome. So it appears as an extension up here. Click on this and that will open up two things. It will open up a dialog box with some recording settings where you can choose some options. And in the bottom left hand corner, the camera will appear or the camera will be utilized and you can start watching yourself doing the recording. And this can be toggled on and off as appropriate. So if you don't want the camera, you can just switch it off in the settings here. You can also choose a microphone input. Um, and for the purpose of this video, I'm using a USB headset. And here you can also choose the capture options. Now you have three capture options. One is cam only, which is just recording the camera, uh, you speaking into the microphone. Uh, another one is current tab. Now the current tab option can be used for specific applications that you have open. For example, if I was to choose cam, uh, sorry, current tab for this page, it will only record the teach training videos website, uh, and it would uh, it's a lighter recording type, so you'd get a higher quality video and uh, performance from your device. It only records the tab you activate the Loom extension on, not the menu bar or any pop-ups that appear in the window. Uh, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to click on desktop, and desktop. Uh, this is where you'll be asked how you would like to share your screen, and for desktop, you would get two options. For desktop you get then two options, either you can record using your whole entire screen including everything uh, or you can just record the application window and the application window will just be the window or one specific part of the screen that you want to capture. Uh, obviously with entire screen every part of the screen is captured including your camera window if, if that's switched on. Uh, while this can be an advantage the downside is that the quality of the whole video goes down a bit and it takes longer to process the uh, recording afterwards. But once you're happy with what you want to do, you can click on start, or start sharing, and then it gives you a countdown, three, two, one, and then you can start uh, doing your voiceover. I, for example, am, am doing a voiceover here. Now, if I was to look at my notes, and I can bring them up on the side, that would appear on the screen in the entire view. But if I chose the current tab view, that wouldn't appear. So pop-ups and other things wouldn't appear. It'd only be recording the screen behind that. And that would be useful if your students wanted to read some notes uh, that they were uh, referring to uh, as they were doing their recording, or as I'm doing here in this example. Anyway, once you're happy with your recording, the options to close it down are here. You can either cancel the recording, you can switch on the camera at any time. So during the recording, I can switch on the camera like this. And once I'm happy with the finished product and I've finished recording, I click the tick bars here. And then uh, Loom will process that recording. Now it takes a short while to actually process the recording and this depends on your internet c connectivity. The recording will open up in a new browser tab and here you can give it a title, uh, test recording for TTV I'm going to call this one and I can save that and a bit like when you upload to YouTube you can edit some of the features on it uh, and make comments on it uh, as the recording is being rendered and uploaded. Um, once, you, once complete, the video will have its own unique link created. Now, as soon as the video has saved and been processed, it should automatically play back in this window here. If not, you can always press the play button down here, and that will play back the recording from Loom. And then you can start uh, doing your voiceover. I, for example, am, am doing a voiceover here. Now, if I was to look at my notes, and I can bring them up on the side, that would appear on the screen in the entire view. But if I chose the current tab view, that wouldn't appear. So pop-ups and other things wouldn't appear. It'd only be recording the screen behind that. Now that so as you can see, See, that's the recording it was a 40 second uh, video clip uh, and you have the options then to share it directly with Twitter 
uh, with Facebook into Gmail or you can copy a, a direct link to the URL and that will copy the link and this is a unique URL for this which you can shorten if you need to. Uh, when you open up Gmail uh, the Loom integration tool also means you can record videos directly from your inbox. Uh, going back to the Loom window you can also get an embed code if you want to embed this into a blog uh, and you can also download it fairly simply as a fairly small mp4 file and you can see that's downloading now there is also a typing field up here for comments in which you can comment on other people's videos so students could collaborate and comment on each other's videos Loom will store all your recordings in one handy place and you can access the ease at any time and share these at any time and this is your collection of videos Loom also has a checklist of things that you can do which you can quickly work through by making a recording, sharing one and referring a friend. There are There is 10 minutes limited recording time to begin with but as soon as you recommend the tool to somebody else, i.e. refer a friend and they accept the link, this amount of time becomes unlimited. So this is a great feature of the tool. Anyway, try it out and let me know what you think.